Nope. <coughs> well, no, it was too dark for other reasons. The tenebrae is traditionally the seven last words of Jesus. If you look around the sanctuary, you'll notice some little white numbers, Roman numerals. This morning we did the seven stations of the cross, which is available for you throughout the season of Easter. Copies are in back if you want it. It's intended to be a private meditation or a public gathering. But we've gone beyond the stations to the passion. We've gone beyond the light and gone into the darkness that Christ comes to redeem us from. We go slow and we pray. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, your Son chose the path which led to pain before joy and the cross before glory. Plant his cross on our hearts so that in its power and love we may come at last to joy and glory through your Son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord. Amen.
the first word, Father. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. The servant of God, Isaiah. Who has believed what we heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. And as one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Passion Story, Luke 25, 20, 32 to 38. Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothes, and the people stood by, watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, he saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. The second word, thou shalt be with me in paradise. The servant of God. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring and shall prolong his days. Through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. 
Out of his anguish he shall see the light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will allot him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out himself to death and numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession with the transgressors. Twenty-three, thirty-nine to forty-three. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Psalm 22, 16 through 24. For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves. And for my clothing, they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. From the horns of the wild oxen you have rescued me. I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who hear the Lord, Praise him, all you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise nor or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him.
the passion story, John. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, let's cast lots for it to see who will get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among themselves. And for my clothing, they cast lots. And that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. my God, I cry by day, but you do no answer, and by night, but find no rest. Mark 15, verses 33-35. When it was noon, Darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sagamthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah.
Fifth word, I thirst. The servant of God, Psalm. You know the insults I receive and my shame and dishonor. My foes are all known to you. Insults have broken my heart so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food and for my thirst. They gave me vinegar to drink. Passion, according to John. After this, when Jesus knew that all was finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar filled of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop, and held it to his mouth.
sixth word. It is finished. The servant of God, Zechariah. And I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. On that day, the mourning in Jerusalem will be as great as the mourning for Hadad Rimmon in the plain of Megiddo. The Passion, John. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Seventh word, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. The servant of God, Isaiah. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearer is silent so he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice, he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. 
It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. With the closing of the tomb, the women returned home, waiting to anoint his body. The oils stand on our altar to anoint us and all of God's people. As our Lord has taught us to pray. Amen. 
the life-giving cross that takes away the sin of the world. Behold, the life-giving cross that takes away the sin of the world. Behold, the life-giving cross that takes away the sin of the world. Thanks be to God.
be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many young bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. Oh, the families of nations shall 
shalt thou be for God. Lord Dominion belongs to the Lord, who rules over the nations. Say to them, the Lord has acted. 